What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Hey man, check it out. I'm gonna talk to you guys and go through a little bit of the Simmons app for the Simmons drum set. Right here, right now, on this channel. It's about to go down. So, you ready? Here we go. Okay, so check it out, man. I got the Simmons app here and I want to go through this thing with you guys and talk to you about the app, tell you about it, and why I almost never use the module itself to work the Simmons drum. In fact, you can work that entire drum and never touch it just because of the app. Now, let me start off by saying, man, I am, uh, I love the Simmons drum set. I think that the app is the best part of the drum set, especially when you, if you're going to use that module, if you're live, you're on stage or whatever, the app is going to be your favorite, uh, toy to have your favorite tool in your arsenal. You want to have the app. And the number one reason is because everything that you can do on the module can be done from the app. So, you know, it's just one of those things. You know, they almost don't even need the module. They should just make it connect without even have the module, just an app. Simmons, don't take my idea. That's a sweet idea. So, <laughs> um, so for those of you who don't know, no, at the timing of the filming of this video, they do not make an, a version for Android. They only make it for iPhone. I have uh, uh, made a video on why they haven't made it yet. It's right there. And you can go and watch that video and understand what I believe is the reason that they haven't made one yet. And also get find out that they are going to make one. But let's talk about this app. Um, when you open the app and connect it to your uh, drum, uh, if, you, if you haven't already, you need to go do this now. You need to go and connect your app to your phone, your phone to your drum because there's so many different things that you can do. Um, the number one thing that I think that people are going to immediately jump into is kit selection. You're going to want to like change kits and, and work on those. And you can slide through and play all of the different kits exactly like you would do if you were using the module with the wheel to turn through, you can just slide right through. So that's a nice feature. So most people are going to slip in and choose a kit to use and you see it's loading up. Uh, it's gonna, let's see if I can get, of course, now that I wanna show you guys, it's not gonna work, right? <laughs> so let's see if I can get it to work properly. Uh, for whatever reason, it's not working. Uh, oh no, actually it was working. What am I talking about? It did switch. I'm looking at this, not realizing it's got a switch over there on the drum. So my drum is connected, and so when I made the switch, it switched on the drums. So this is where you would choose your kit. That's gonna be the first thing you wanna do. The next thing that people are gonna wanna do is edit their kit. Most people complain about different sounds uh, not sounding a particular way, and you can do all of this in the module, but man, on the app. It's just so crazy. So one of the things I wanna show you is you can turn the entire kit volume up and down. You can change the gain uh, on it, make it, you know, so that it sounds the way you want it to sound, especially if you have the Simmons speakers or amplifiers. Uh, but the nice thing is you can choose the type of room that you're playing in, whether you're playing on stage, which is gonna change the EQ and reverb of that drum. Uh, so that's really, really cool. A really, really cool feature that I like about it. You can, whatever the effects are, whether it be echo and all that, that can be tuned in here as well with your finger. So you can do that. The next thing though, and I think is the, the one that everybody wants, is if you're playing the drums, you'll notice that certain things are turned up in volume. You see down here where it says volume, you'll see the volume is set at different levels. Most of them are set at 127. And you can change those volumes on each kit just by selecting the hi-hat and sliding up and down. Matter of fact, let me use the pencil just so I can show you a little bit better how this works so you can actually see what my fingers are doing. So you can do that. So if I wanna change that I can do it. If I want to change the effects that are on there, again, I can do it here that's on that drum. So I'm actually affecting the way it's going to sound over there. And I know many of you are like, why didn't you do it over there? Because I really want to focus here and I don't want to be banging and moving sticks. So just trust me, this is what it's doing. So if you got the app, go to it and you'll do it. You can find all of this inside of the actual module, but it just looks so much better, works so much smoother if you're doing it right from the app. So you can make those changes. Um, one of the cool things though, this is the one that everybody's gonna wanna know. Now there's some other things I'm gonna get to, but this is the stuff that everybody comments about. It's the edit button here. So we're gonna click edit. So we're, let me go out of here again. We're on this Tom, right? So we're gonna click edit. That means I'm editing that particular Tom. With that being said, I can choose 
which one of the, what time I want to actually play when I hit that time. So if I'm looking at a time and it's whatever time it was, time one, I'm changing it to a different time here. I can make all kinds of changes and digital changes on how I want that thing to come out, how I want to filter it, how I want it to roll off, whatever I want to do, I can actually do that. I can fine tune it if I want to pitch it, maybe I want to pitch it to the key of a song. I can change so many different things, I, don't, I can't even go through all of it, including once again the volume and even the panning. Like right now it's panned to the left, but maybe I want it further left. I can change the panning of where that time sits. So when I, it literally flows across the way I want it to flow. And you can do that right from the app. Can you do it from the module? Yes. Is it more difficult? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And yes, it is. This is why I like the app on the phone or on the iPad so much better. Let's come out of there. That's the number one thing people want to do. So even if it was a symbol, let's go to uh, a symbol. Let's go to a crash. We're going to do the same thing on a crash. You can change the type of crash. Now it's a China, or I want to, and I can do a 20 inch or an 8 inch. I can go all the way down and just keep changing brush, bro. Just, just ah, so many different things, and it's so much easier. But why is it easy? Because you are accustomed to using a phone. This is the thing that makes this so much better, in my opinion, than any of the other drums out there. Why I think this is why I fell in love with the SD1250. Playing on the SD1250. 1250 doesn't necessarily feel better than say the uh, comparable Crimson 2 because I like the symbol placement on the Crim Crimson 2 better than I do on the SD1250 but the app the things that I want to change the way I want to make the drum feel this is where I can do this and that's why I like this so much okay let's come out of there because we could I mean that's basically what you can do all the way across the entire drum so let's get rid of that and let's go to a couple other features that people don't realize you can do let's go to play along so this will allow you to go into your uh, music. Let's see if I can do it. It may not let me, it's, it shouldn't, yeah, there it goes. So you can go into your music playlist, into your iTunes library. You can actually choose uh, a song from your um, iTunes library, whatever that song is, and you can select that song, okay? And then once you select that song, It'll pull that song into the app itself. And you can press play and play along to that song. So you don't need a separate tape recorder or your phone. It's literally playing in the app. So you got your phone blended in. And not only can you do that, but if you have the Simmons speakers, you can play that out through the Simmons speakers and, 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 and blend those two sounds together with Bluetooth and all of that. You can do that with the Simmons app. Bro. Come on, bro. Quit playing. Quit tripping on me, telling me that I'm crazy, that everybody's better than Simmons. Quit telling me that the sounds are this. If you say that you don't like the sounds, you haven't played with the app. You haven't gone into the module. You haven't tried to modify it. If you haven't played with the app, don't tell me that all these other ways of doing it with the module on other drum sets is better. My friend, you're wrong. But it's okay. We're going to get you right because eventually you're going to have an Android app. So let's keep going. <laughs> You can play along to any song that you want. Here's another one. You can make your own sounds and record them and play them back and add them to your drum sets and your user kits. Bro, are you kidding me? So you can make take a sound from somewhere else and make 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 sounds and put them into your kits. Ooh, yes, it'll record right from the mic. You see it's jumping. It's recording my voice right now. So if I wanted to just like one, two, three, four. I can make that be what my sound is or record something off the street or some weird sound that I heard and I want to take that back and do something with it. I can add it to my drum. You can't do that with all these. You can do it, but you can't do it this simple with all these other drums, man. It's it's crazy, man. The Simmons app is crazy. And let's just see something. So you'll see I have it set up. It's connected to my Mac Mini for some reason. I also have my um, SD1250 uh, app of uh, a drum set that is connected to that I can connect up. But I'm always using it with the SD12, uh, did I say 1250? My SD600 drum that it works. And I believe it goes all the way down to the 350. Can't remember if it goes down any lower. I think it's 350 and above. Uh, but I have it on my 600, I use it on the 600 and I use it on the 1250. And I'm just telling you guys, man, if you have not taken the time to check out the Simmons app, and if you unfortunately have an Android and it hasn't been, it, it, like I said, when I did this video, it hasn't been released yet. I feel bad for you, but it's coming, baby. You'll get to use it. So yeah, man, just take your time. Go ahead and, 
and get you the drum and, and use the app and watch how it works, man. It's gonna just simplify your life, man. Just makes everything so simple and easy. It's right there on screen color. I use my I use my Apple Pencil, man. Come on. Listen, man, if you enjoy these videos, man, listen, the first thing I need y'all to do, give me a thumbs up, man. The algorithm, it's like my videos are getting good views, but they can get so much more if everybody to watch just click the thumbs up. Uh, I know you guys, especially you guys that leave comments and you, you're positive, man, leave a thumbs up. I, I almost feel like I'm begging, but leave a thumbs up so we can get this thing out there. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel by clicking right there and check out this next video. And I'll catch y'all next time. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.